All right, today we're out here with another project. We got a Massey Ferguson 30B loader. It's been sitting out here for over 14 years. We're gonna try to get it pulled out of here and see if it'll start. We got Brandon helping me today. He's on time this time, guys. So we got the skid steer hooked up to it right now and there's all kinds of poison ivy and stuff growing on it. So we're gonna try to pull it back out of here a little bit so it's easier to work on it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get it out of here. tractor pulled out here into the road so we can work on it a little easier um, came out a lot easier than I thought it would we weren't sure if it was in neutral or not but it rolled right out no problem and also it's got power steering on it so we weren't able to turn it and there was a lot of big trees and stuff in the way so we were kind of worried it might not we might not be able to maneuver it through there but no problem for the old Kubota we got it out of here and now we're going to start getting the rest of the vines and pine needles and stuff cleaned off and start seeing if we can get it to start. All right, we got most of the pine needles and vines and everything cleaned off. Do a little walk around of it, check it out. Overall, it looks in pretty good condition. Tires are flat on it, but we got the air compressor. There's no PTO on this one. It's a pretty basic front end loader on it. But pretty clean little tractor. We're sitting for 14 or 15 years or something. We're going to start checking the fluids and everything and start trying to go through the steps to get it fired up. So first step into the process, pulled the fuel cap off and as you can tell, it doesn't look so great. And down there in the tank, nice and crusty. So we're going to have to clean the fuel tank out or put on another fuel tank on it to get it started. 
It's not how we were trying to get things going, but we'll get her going. All right, we decided we're just gonna go ahead and hook the battery up and see if the thing will even turn over because there's no sense in us spending a bunch of time on it if it's locked up or something. This one right here is the ground wire. Sure, yep. just the block. Yep. Hank over at Hamiltonville Farms would appreciate your tool of choice there. All around. You only need one tool. Mm-hmm. What do you think? You think it's seized up or you think it's going to crank? We're about to find out. Go ahead. I think you're just supposed to tap on the top of the terminal with the crescent wrench. They did leave the key in it for us, that's always helpful. Nothing? Well, I haven't turned it, but it's oh. pretty big it's not locked up. Can we hook the jumper cables up? water in it? Huh? There's water in it? There was just a little bit. That's why it's got fuel in here. It's all leaking out. Probably so. Huh? Probably so. We could, if it'll crank over, we could just get the Jumbo gas tank and just put an inline filter on it. Just see if we can get it running and then we can clean the tank. Yeah. Try it. I think we can get it running. I think we can get it running. Just need a little bit of fuel. All right, so now that we know it'll crank over and it's not locked up, um, the biggest problem, we checked the oil. It's got oil, the oil looks fine. Um, the fluid levels are good in it, but the fuel tank, like I showed you earlier, it's got all kinds of junk in it. Um, so what we're gonna do is get a fuel tank from a John boat just one of the plastic fuel tanks fill it up with some diesel and then hook the line up directly to the fuel line where it came out of the tank we're gonna run an inline filter in there on the back side so there's a fuel filter right in here but we're gonna run in between this hose I don't know if you can see in there but in between that hose and the fuel line running over to the um, fuel pump on the other side we're gonna run an inline filter just to catch that stuff um, eventually once we try to get the machine running we'll get it back to the shop we're gonna take the fuel tank off get it cleaned out and uh, change the filters and everything on it but for right now we're just gonna go ahead and bypass the filter on this side 
and um, run an inline filter just to see if we can get it started up. Got the redneck fixer flat kit. Pick these up at any basic gas station. Are you looking for you? Mm -hmm. Ain't easy to get her in there, but. like that, no more leak. I hear a leak. No, nah, it ain't leaking. All right, so we got our little portable fuel tank hooked up to it. We ran some inline filters in there, uh, pumped up the bulb on the fuel tank. The fuel in the filters looks clean. So now we're gonna hook the jumper cables up, squirt a little starting fluid in there and see if she'll fire up for us. All right, so we're about to crank on it, but before we crank on it, I want you guys to go leave in the comments if you think that either it's gonna fire right up and run great, or it's gonna catch on fire and burn up, or it's gonna fire up and run away on us and crash into the skid steer back there or over into the woods over here. Um, let us know in the comments what you think is gonna happen. And one of these days we're learning each one of these will it start videos that we do, kind of what we need to bring with us, but one of these times we're gonna bring a battery that's charged up and doesn't have to be jumped off. Ain't that right, Brandon? Hopefully we'll learn. One of these days. Well. All right, let her rip. Now it's just got some air in the lines, I think. So since it was out of diesel, there was a crack in the fuel filter, the fuel water separator on the other side. So it drained out all the diesel that has been in the lines over the years. And uh, so now we're cracking the injectors open, trying to see if we can get the air out by cranking on it.
All right, so the hydraulic line just busted on it. Um, so we can't move the bucket up or down right now, but we're gonna see if it'll go forward and reverse. The steering working? The steering work? Well, steering's not working on it. Reverse works. Looks like it's going to have a few bugs to work out, but Overall, it sounds like a pretty strong running little tractor. Well, we started tapping on the joystick, it was stuck. Now the bucket's going up and it won't stop. Oh, great. Just beat on it with a hammer when all else fails. Ferguson to its new home. It's probably going to sit right up there in the woods for the next 14 years until we get around to fixing the 327 problems that it has. But will it start? Yes, it will. Will it drive? Yes, it will. Does it have some leaks? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, beautiful. Little furs. Oh, real nice. The problem with Try it. everybody for watching hope you enjoyed the video as always if you like the video give it a thumbs up leave us a comment on what you thought I always love to hear you guys' feedback on my videos so I can try to make them better for you guys and I appreciate each and every one of you be careful out there and we'll see you next time